Here we go, more food for the sheep. You heard me right. This post, uh, an extinction protocol, which I'll link you to. New study shows parts of Washington, D.C. could survive a nuclear blast. The explosion would destroy everything within a mile and a half. An intense flash would blind drivers on the beltway miles away, and a radioactive cloud would drift towards Baltimore. There's one surprising conclusion. Just a bit further from the intersection of 16th and K Streets Northwest, the blast chosen epicenter, the explosion would be survivable. The U.S. government study uh, explores what would happen if terrorists got their hands on enough nuclear material to explode a 10 kiloton nuclear bomb, about 5,000 times more powerful than the truck bomb that destroyed the federal building in Oklahoma City in 95. Now listen, I'm going to stop right there. I'll link you to the post below. God damn it. God damn it. Okay? This uh, bullshit. Now first of all, let's think logically. If we could even believe that we might possibly be under an attack from a nuclear bomb from some rogue country, um, would it make sense to do a study on the effectiveness and then publish it. So now all we've done is give the terrorist some base information. We, we let them know that a 10 kiloton bomb isn't going to totally destroy Washington, D.C. So wouldn't they build a 20 kiloton nuclear bomb or send two spread out a little bit? Uh, okay, that's the first point. Okay. The second and probably more important point is the fact that, hello, sheep, you, you don't predict things like this. You don't plan for things like this because you cannot. You can't assume anything. No, okay, if we are in any danger of being attacked by anyone, it's because we've been blatant assholes trying to r rule the entire planet with an iron fist, and we deserve to have our asses kicked. Okay, let's start there. We, we haven't managed our own country, but yet we've spent billions and billions of dollars to tromp around the planet and tell everyone else how they should act, all in the name of humanitarian effort and democracy. Bullshit. Bullshit. Okay? Get rid of these crooked fucking politicians. Get rid of these corporate banking bastards. Take back this fucking country to where we don't have to live in fear of anybody. Matter of fact, we don't have to live in fear of anybody right now. Because the fact of the matter is, you have a better chance of being struck by lightning or being killed by an allergic reaction from a bumblebee than you do of being killed by any terrorist. Those are real statistics you need to think about. Now stop the bullshit and stop being sheep.